everybody, I'm Lisa Quinn. Welcome to the show where we do something super fun in less than two minutes. What you need, what you really, really need. A quintessential. Two Minute Makeovers. Today we're talking art, big wall art, but don't be intimidated. This is an easy project. You don't have to be super artistic to pull it off. It's a twist on the old chalkboard paint art. And I know it's been done to death, but this is a new twist that I think you'll like. So here's what you're gonna need. First of all, you don't even really need chalkboard paint. It's expensive, it can be hard to find. If you've got some flat black paint, whether in a spray can or a can, it's fine. I went to the art store and I got two two by four canvases. And all I did was paint them black. We spray painted these down, two coats to make sure there was a nice even covering. And then on the sides, all I did was get some gold specialty paint and I just painted it around the edges. It sort of gives the illusion that we went out and bought a frame, but we didn't because we didn't have the time or the money. So this is a great way to handle that. As far as the images go, you know, you can go online. If you go on Google or Pinterest, they have all sorts of ideas for these chalk projects. You can rip off that look of the old um, bus signs, which are so popular right now. You can do graphic images. They have tutorials on how to do scrolling, but what I'm gonna do is something a little easier than that. It's going in a dining room, so I thought flatware. And I went online and I found these images. As you can see, these are so simple that you could probably just draw them freehand. But if you're a little nervous about your artistic skills or you've got something like this here that's a little bit more intricate, there's an answer for that too. I've got this overhead projector. You can get them at the art store for about $35, $40. I think you can even rent them from your library. You'd have to check, but it's so easy. It's like seventh grade science class. You get your image, put it underneath, and it's gonna throw that image up on the canvas Hopefully. So we're gonna cut off the lights right now, turn on our overhead projector and see where we go. Hello, I'm over here in the dark. It's kind of a joke to even try to shoot this because it is so dark, but trust me, in the room you can see the image. I've got my chalk and I'm just gonna trace it out and we're gonna be in good shape. The trick is to not get in your own way. If you cast a shadow over your image, you're not gonna be able to see what you got going. So I'm gonna get started here and hopefully in a few minutes, we're gonna have a pretty groovy image when we turn the lights on. And the lights are back on and the artwork is finished. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. This was an easy project that has some really stunning results. The lights that I have on the artwork make a big difference too. Spotlights make anything special. I got these lights at Ikea for $24.95 and it just makes it look like a piece of art from a museum. So I'm loving that. All right, so here's the breakdown. This whole project took less than a day. Even with the lights from Ikea, they were less than 50 bucks a piece. And you don't like it anymore, you just erase it and start all over again. My kind of project. Listen, this show was brought to you by Ikea, the life improvement store. And subscribe to our videos for more two-minute makeovers. I'm Lisa Quinn. Thanks for watching.